all right folks back with the second duel of the day and uh man uh uh temperatures got a little high um just now because i was playing against dinos um and uh i rage quit it rage quit it and it's i just felt like i need to tell you guys that and I'm not even going to explain to you what happened. You see Kyrios on the board, and he's playing Dino, so that should tell you what happened. Um, all right, this hand is uh, fantastically good, I, I would say. I would just start with that, I guess. Um, we'll just add the core. I don't think there's really anything to even worry about. Um, we can't kill him because he activated the um, best card in the game, so... Um, We'll just ditch a slayer, I guess. Um, we'll just normal summon this, and I think I'm actually gonna just ritual summon Battle Lord because I don't, I don't know what he, I, I know he's playing this, but I'm just saying, just, just in case, just in case he's playing something stupid, and I already feel like I, I it's gonna be stupid, but you know, we just gotta play it. We'll just card monsters. I feel like it's, it's a what's the name, so. I really do feel like that. I feel like we're just a chimera just to add it. Um, I really feel like it's a what's name. Um, what do you call it? Uh, we'll banish the graveyard one, a special summon from the hand. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm just so flustered. Uh, we'll attack with this. I feel like it's a scarm. That's what I meant to say. I feel like it's a scarm. Yeah, yeah that, that was correct. Um, he did that damage stuff, so we're not able to do anything. All right, so let's see how we get beat this time against Dark Worlds for no reason. All right, there's that. Um, he's going to get a Grapha and or Diablos or a Phoenix Rhino Warrior because that's how Yu-Gi-Oh is played nowadays. Um, oh, okay, there you go. There's the Grapha. I'm um, sure. What, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, young man? All right, so he's going to banish the Skarm. Nope, that's a fiend. We'll banish that. Um, doesn't look like he has any response. That feels like we're going to just win this game. Wow, that's 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 cute. That is so cute. And I'm pretty sure he has another graph in there. Um, no, Lightning. Lucent. Um, sure, let's just let him have that little reign of terror. Um, sure, Grapha is completely fine. Can't not stop the Grapha. That's crazy. He, uh... Alright, man. Uh, hmm. I guess we get rid of Chimera here? Um, sure. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Do your thing, young Master Bros. That is completely fine. Alright, so we're gonna just activate that guy, and we're gonna banish this Grapha. Let's see if he wants to continue to play you don't do it ah oh, he did it anyways well the, the 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 only great effect in the whole entire archetype is chimera's effect to whenever it's tributed or banished um that is not what i just thought that through that was definitely a wrong <laughs> i really thought it just activates when it got banished but it needs to be banished for a ritual summon all right, back again. Let's see what these pure Vendreds can do. It seems like we can take out tier two. Oh my God, we're playing a 53 card deck and we've opened up five Vendreds. And this is this is what I was drawing the day before San Diego. And this is why I bumped it up to 46 is because the more cards you got in your deck, the more times, I mean, the more cards you basically have not to draw Vendreds. And that 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 is that is such a problem. And it's not even funny. Um, the Debbie rituals, I feel, are probably needed because of the amount of rituals, like I mean, the amount of Vendray cards you play, um, and possibly until we get better support, you may not even have to. You may basically won't be able to play any of these. Like you just probably play a Hound Horde, probably two Hound Hordes and two Stridus, I guess, in one Revenant. The only thing I can really think of because you don't really want to draw. It's one anima. You know, why does he have three set in the pendulum deck? And it's 53 cards, folks. So I'm just gonna. I feel like I'm just gonna lose all day today. 
I feel like I'm just gonna play the the weirdest worst decks and I'm just going to lose because there's nothing I can do about playing these decks. he has three back row in fucking pendulums I don't know I don't even know what you're playing back there like you must be playing some shit bro like you you're, you're you must be amazing um, all right, so he takes a hundred from that. But what is this? Does it do anything? No, it doesn't. There is a preparation of rights that does nothing. So I know this one card that I, you know, I play that um I, I definitely have to pick up, uh, which is Topabinia, as you can see, Topologicer, Topabinia. Um, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna reveal the Anima because that's the one we're gonna summon. I mean, that's the one we're gonna ditch for Hound Horde. Hopefully he doesn't have anything for my strides and it's fucking lost win because why wouldn't it be a lost win in this deck? So that triggers automatically. Um, that's fine. Then we'll just go Topabinia. Um, bam. Or Trisbania or whatever that shit is called. I don't know. I feel like he's going to have another one set. This is just gonna hurt. Stitch that anima. Are we good? Are we good? Oh, he literally had nothing and he took 2,500. Well, it's the big show. Yeah, that's why this card is pretty good. Card is pretty good. Definitely should be in my side deck. Not even in my side deck. Definitely should be in my main deck. Um, just have to find room for it. that in a summer sorceress when summer sorceress comes out because yeah that this that that is wow wow freaking pin call you are so you sir are something else you are something else you are something else I don't know what he can get but you are, I mean he can get a purple poison I figured he was gonna do that and he can pop it <clears throat> please don't summon in his own Oh, you're just gonna just gonna do that, huh? This. Oh wait, no, 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 no. He he can definitely. Never mind. He can out it. Okay, never mind. He can out it. Um. Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Don't summon in my zone, please. Please don't summon in my zone. Just summon in your special. Oh wait, he can just boost it, huh? He can actually half hit for free. We're in, we're in a bit of trouble here. This is a dark spellcaster. We have to actually get over this. I forgot that it does do 25. I mean, I, th I forgot it did 500 for each one. All right, so um, I, if we could draw a ritual spell, we're we're fine. If we could draw any ritual spell, we're actually really f like we're 100 fine. Um, we can actually just win. Um, sure. What do I have in my graveyard? A vampire sucker any ritual spell would do there there's that that's probably the best one we could have drawn so that's that that, that is just that's just fantastic we're just gonna win here um we're just gonna activate this young know, ritual summon uh we're gonna tribute this guy at the hand i'm gonna go with that we're gonna activate normal summon then we're gonna just get a free free vampire sucker Wait, that is not what I was supposed to do. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, we'll actually search evolution. We'll search evolution and dump battle lord. Wait, no, we can't do it. Some battle lord, right? Yeah, we'll dump battle lord. We'll just call. Some, actually, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. This is definitely game. Um, I wanted to get uh, what's the name in the graveyard though. I can banish the Slayer. I, I, I can do all this. But we'll activate this. Um, from the deck, we'll just add Chimera because we don't have it. Um, add the Ritual Spell from the Graveyard. Evolution. Um, actually, we can ditch for Hound Horde. Oh, never mind. This all works out pretty good. We can ditch for Hound Horde. Draw a free card. Ooh, there's terraforming, so that definitely would have worked out even better. Um, we're gonna summon Battle Lord. We're gonna send Revenants and tribute the this guy. Bam! And we're able to activate this, prevent the activation of effects. We'll banish Revenants. 
call spells, even though he's not going to be able to do anything. And then we can just use the anima to special summon the revenants from the banish. Um, and I'm not sure. Oh, I do. I do have it. I do have a chimera engrave, which would then also one at the top should be the one that we summon tribute revenants and we'll banish chimera to summon a slayer chimera will trigger and then this will trigger we can just banish this doesn't really matter and yeah there we go there we go we have got the victory top decking the pre-prep and that's pretty good all right man so that is um i believe that ends our day to day um we played pure vendreds and we beat nothing but tier two and lower Possibly tier three and lower. Um, not even sure. Uh, pendulums don't. I mean, definitely not this deck. Um, it's not. Doesn't seem like the greatest of greatest decks of all time. I didn't know what he was going for. I guess with this deck, um, I, I just have no clue. So yeah. All right. So once again, here is the deck list. Um, hope you guys did enjoy that. Oh uh, man, yeah. Pair of Vindreds is, uh, is is a hell of a uh, the hell of a deck. I would say that um, we we definitely won't win a lot of games with this deck it's because uh, once again rituals are dead in your hand um, because they don't do anything on themselves and uh, it's not really fair to judge a deck by that because Necros were pretty much a one of a kind deck I believe that's the only deck that does stuff like that um, Gishkis once again they have a whole bunch of like Gishkis have a whole bunch of other monsters um, are able to search the ritual spells and ritual monsters which is very very good um necros the actual ritual monsters can search everything else which is very very good because that means pretty much your whole deck is not dead like you have a turn you have to play every turn because your ritual monsters do something um so yeah man that is uh you know that's the that's the thing like is pretty much you know everybody like i i don't know if you guys are no no, no not you guys but i don't think everybody is doing it on purpose but when you know you basically think about Vindred, you think about oh the first thing that pops in your mind where subconsciously is you're comparing them to necros uh or you def definitely mean because i know when i play this deck i'm like damn these <laughs> ritual monsters don't do nothing on their own um i automatically compare it to necros uh because like that's just the standard i mean that is just the best ritual deck and then you know like i said gishki's also are a good consistent deck because all you have to do is ditch and you can search all the monsters ditch and search with this you literally have slayer but that has to be ritual summon so pre-prep is your only you know good thing to get like i said could have been done easily with vendred knights we would never had this conversation and there's no excuse of why i can't get to a ritual spell but yeah anyways that is it for today thank you guys for watching I hope you guys did enjoy this video i don't know what i'm going to do for saturday but i most i may get you a video guy i may get a video out but I, i'm not sure right now thank you guys for watching I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys want to donate to the channel links are down in the description below and if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe and enjoy yourself but besides that that is it for this week until saturday possibly and uh yeah See you guys either next week or Saturday.